So let us see the food chains and food webs. So here is the food chain. Here we see different organisms. It has got some plants and some animals. Plant is eaten by insect. Insect is eaten by bird. Bird is eaten by a fox. Now you can find a relation here. Now the relation looks like a chain. Plant, insect, bird, fox. You see deer is eaten by tiger. Plant is eaten by deer. Here you can find a chain. Plant, deer, tiger. But here both these chains are linked together. You see one is common. Plant is common. That means some of the organisms are not only a part of a food chain. They are part of more than one food chain. So it forms links between different food chains. This is one food chain. This is one food chain. Both are linked here by plant. And see the vulture may eat deer. The vulture may eat deer. And in the same way, here you can see ant eaten by frog or eaten by snake. This is a chain. Ant may eat plant. So here one more chain. Now, the frog may be eaten by bird. So frog is eaten by snake as well as by bird. So one animal or one organism of a food chain may be a part of another food chain also. So one organism can be a part of more than one food chain. It forms the links between the food chains. Finally, which forms a food web. You call it as a food web. So this way, bird can eat a snake. So here we can find the interrelation between the food chains. When it is like a web, you call it as a food web. So if you try to find the relation, food relations between different components or different organisms of an ecosystem, you find them in the form of food chains or food webs. Now, let us see the disturbance caused in the environment. It disturbs our lives. We know that we are discussing on the same issue, but how it is linked up to the food chains and food webs. Organisms are dependent on one another for their food requirements. So in this natural food chain or food web, if some artificial materials are entered by the human activities, so how they affect our lives. Here you see one concept called as biological magnification. What is this biological magnification? Accumulation of harmful chemicals in the bodies of some animals or humans is called as biological magnification. Harmful chemicals are accumulated. Harmful chemicals. All the food that we eat is chemicals, nothing but nutrients are not nothing but chemicals, but they are not accumulated. You are getting the nutrients, you are eating chicken, you are eating fish, or you are a vegetarian, you are eating fruit, you are, gra you are eating grains. So the materials present in them are absorbed by your body. Some of them are digested, which are not digested are excreted. So the digested nutrients are utilized by your body, waste is excreted out. You have mechanisms in your body. You have various biochemical reactions in your body in which whatever the food we are taking, the food is properly utilized. Unwanted materials are properly disposed. So by that your body is kept clean after the using after using the food material or nutrient. But here certain chemicals cannot be processed by your body. Certain chemicals cannot be digested nor filtered by your body. They get accumulated in various parts of your body like fatty tissues and other parts, certain chemicals get accumulated, leads to so many diseases like cancers and other diseases, which is a very major problem, threat to the life. So how the accumulation of harmful chemicals takes place in our bodies? You know the food chain, we get the food, we get it from uh, a hen, from a chicken, you get it from a chicken, you get it from a chicken, so it might got, so the chicken has got harmful chemicals. It might got from the food, grains. So the grains, the grains have got this harmful chemicals, pesticides or insecticides. So how the grains have got 
because the plant is sprayed with such chemicals who is spraying the farmers are spraying because to protect the crop from the insects and pests they are spraying chemicals so these chemicals are absorbed by the grains the animal that eats the grains the harmful chemicals are transferred to the body of the animal and this animal is eaten by human or some other animal so the chemicals are transferred so these plants and animals they do not have the mechanisms to get rid of these chemicals because they are non biodegradable our bodies do not possess the enzymes which can break them into harmless form our bodies do not have that enzymes our bodies cannot break down the harmful chemicals into harmless chemicals that is not achieved so in the same form in the same dangerous harmful condition they are transferred from one level to another level to another level finally they get accumulated in the top level of the ecosystem they are reaching us so you have gone to the market to buy a fish you don't know from where the fish has come you don't know what kind of chemicals are accumulated in the bodies of fish the researchers they are uh, doing lot of research they are uh, doing so many tests to the food available in the market and they are finding that many of the food items even vegetables or any uh, animal food like fish or chicken if they test in the laboratories they find that so many hormones are there so many pesticides are there so much of insecticides are there that is the reason why all the people who are health conscious are turning towards organic so we are going to the market and buying a brand which is named as organic because organic it shows that the food is grown in organic method by not using any artificial fertilizers chemicals but it is costlier when compared to the other foods because chemical fertilizers and chemical pesticides they are cheap the process is simple even though it is harmful so the product cost is less everybody cannot afford to buy organic so we cannot buy organic products they are they may be of double cost so you can you buy 1 kg of grains 100 rupees organic 200 rupees so organic methods are time consuming power consuming so many people must be involved in that very slow product will be less so by that the cost is more so we are everybody is worried we cannot test each and every time the food we are eating you have gone to market and buy a fish so you cannot test the fish whether how much pesticide it has got at least you don't know the source from where it has come so it is the part of the government to ban catching the fish of certain areas where it is polluted water likewise so by that at least to some extent it can be the health of the people can be saved anyway the disturbance in the environment it leads to such consequences this is an example the biological magnification even the fruits and vegetables many chemicals are sprayed onto them so the peels of the fruits and vegetables absorb the chemical you cannot remove the chemical simply by washing just you wash under the tap with bare hands do you think it will remove many of the fruits vegetables are eaten along with the peel the peel might have absorbed the chemicals pesticides many of the fruits we don't cut the peel goa we don't cut the peel we don't remove the peel gods we cut and uh, we cook with the peels that means we are consuming the harmful chemicals which get accumulated in our bodies like various spots like kidneys and liver when they are accumulated in large number they cause very dangerous health conditions if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus